What about now? Can you hear me now? Checking, testing. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. There we go. Can you see me? That's another question that I have for you. Can you see me right now? Can you see me on the video? Good. We're not going to be doing any screenshots or uh, any kind of PowerPoint tonight. Um, I am more of a face the camera kind of guy. So we're going to be doing that. Going to give everybody a few minutes to get here. The webinar doesn't technically start um, until nine o'clock, but I wanted to make sure all of my audio and video was working for tonight. So welcome everybody. Introduce yourself in the chat room. Tell us uh, where you're from and tell us uh, what you're going to be selling on Black Friday because that is going to be our theme for tonight. I know it is only October 20th, but I really wanted to get Black Friday and your Black Friday promotions and your Black Friday sales on your radar because uh, we're going to talk about this later, but if you wait you're going to be too late because you got to have your plan ready to go by the end of October and that first week of November. You've got to be putting together your Black Friday promotion. I see my boy Evan Burse is in the house. What is going on, Evan? Evan over in LA. We got people in a lot of different time zones. I know most of you, and I see it. Uh, I have quite a few people registered for this. So I'm expecting a big crowd in and out. So welcome to everybody. Let's see, Beth from Tazewell, Tennessee. That is not too far away from where I am. Uh, in Kentucky. I used to spend a lot of time down in Tazewell. Actually, uh, there was a card shop there and me and my buddies would come play cards. So uh, I have actually been to Tazewell many, many times. I see Roz in the house from Australia. Australian contingent is rolling in hard and heavy here tonight. Who else we got in here? Paul from Nicholasville, Kentucky. What's going on, Paul? Uh, let's see. TC is here from Canada. We've already got three countries in the house. And people are still rolling into the chat room. So excited for you guys to be here. Who else we got in here? Uh, we've got, uh, is that Rania? Rania? I think it's Rania from Toronto, Canada. Got more Canadians. Got Marty from Madisonville. Been playing any golf, Marty? Been playing any golf? It's been too rainy and cold here to play golf. But uh, we're going to try and get out to the driving range this week. We've been out of town at the beach. So uh, let's see. Miss Red from Gold Coast, Australia. More Australians. <laughs> we got, we, me and Jocelyn may need to head down to Australia uh, for a little uh, little get-together with our Australian listeners down for the Flip Lifestyle podcast. The Neesons from Texas are here. Everybody's excited that we're going to be coming to Australia, maybe. That's what we need to do. Flip Your Life Live down under. Good. All right. Got a few more. Uh, people are going to be rolling in here um, as we go along. It's 9 o'clock right now. Um, we're going to get started. Let me talk a little bit about what we're going to do in this free Flipped Lifestyle training tonight. Tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, three secret strategies, tips, whatever you want to call them, uh, for you to start thinking about and getting your mind moving toward Black Friday. Black Friday, of course, is the biggest shopping day in the United States of America. It is a massive, massive informal holiday. It is the Friday after Thanksgiving, um, and it is usually the unofficial kickstart of the Christmas shopping season. And, you know, it used to be a huge retail event, like retail stores, like Walmarts, department stores, malls, Best Buys would open their doors at midnight for these doorbuster deals. And they'd be selling TVs for 50% off. And, you know, you'd go into Walmart and all the pajamas for the kids would be a dollar, whatever, you know, like they have all these crazy deals to get you in and they would make a huge amount of money. And a lot of companies, that was the day they became profitable, right? That's why it's called Black Friday because it is the day you go into the black. It is the day you are no longer in the red. That's when most companies turn the corner into profitability. And what it's become with e-commerce and online business, it's just become the day that everybody wants to spend all their money. I mean, as soon as the Black Friday deals start online, offline, anywhere, people are gonna be looking for deals. And Black Friday is not just Black Friday anymore. It's an entire weekend event. Black Friday happens, you know, the deals start at midnight and they run through what's called Cyber Monday, which was kind of invented for all of the e-commerce people so they could have their own little holiday, right? So what it is for us, what it is for you, is it is a tremendous opportunity to make a ton of money fast, to get a lot of new customers into your sales funnels and into your opt-ins and into your products so that you can upsell them more stuff later throughout the year. And it's just an incredible opportunity because everybody is wanting to spend money on Black Friday. So they might as well spend money on your stuff. If you're selling digital products, you better have a Black Friday sell for your course. If you have a membership, this is a great time to get a ton of new members 
into your membership, okay? So it's an awesome opportunity, and uh, I wanted to help you guys tonight to start thinking about Black Friday. Some of you uh, who may be new to the Flip Lifestyle Podcast or new to me, my name is Shane Sams. My wife, Jocelyn, and I do host a podcast called the Flip Lifestyle Podcast. comes out every Tuesday and Saturday, and we basically help people take what they know, take their God-given talents, and use those to make money on the internet so they can change their family's future. Uh, we have a podcast that comes out. You need to listen to it. Check it out. And uh, we do a lot of cool things inside of our Flip Your Life community and for our audience uh, here on the internet. Right? We talk about marketing. We talk about online business. We talk about memberships. We talk about building sustainable, repeatable income. My wife, Jocelyn, and I used to be school teachers. And we were able to figure out how to make our entire living online, quit our full-time jobs. And we've been self-employed now for almost seven years. We uh, became and stayed self-employed. And that's what we do now. Uh, we have a host of other companies where we sell digital products. We sell memberships. I'm getting my own Black Friday sales uh, ready. We're practicing what, what we preach and we do what we say for you to do. Uh, but we also run Flip Lifestyle where we help other families do what we did. That's our goal. That's our mission in life is to help as many people as possible use the internet to generate income and change their family's future. So glad you're here. Um, I think we're good. A lot of people still coming into the room. I see people still filtering in. Welcome to tonight's training, free training for anybody. Um, this is not just a community exclusive training. This is open to our entire Flip Lifestyle audience. And uh, we are super glad that you're here, okay? All right, so uh, let's see. I think that Jocelyn might be in the chat room. Let me look. I don't know if she's logged in yet. I am at our office right now. She was going to jump into the chat. I'm just going to go ahead and drop a note to her real quick before we get started. Uh, let's see. Jump in the chat when you can. All right. This is also the first webinar that we have hosted on Zoom. Okay. So there's a couple things here. I see a question already. I've got a question in the Q&A. Uh, uh, I see that, Jennifer. Gotcha. All right. So uh, if you want to click the Q&A, if you have any questions while I'm going over the content for tonight, I'm getting ready to jump into that. We're going to roll through this content and get you three good tips for getting your Black Friday success. Uh, sales off to a great start. If you got a question, put those in the Q&A. Click Q&A at the bottom of your screen. Um, I do have the chat box open. That's for you guys to talk to each other. Questions can be asked there, but I, I think that it would be easier for me to get to your questions. If you have any questions about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, getting ready for this big promotion, go ahead and put that in the Q&A. You can talk to each other and comment in the chat. I probably will turn the chat off and I will not be looking at it while I'm talking. Um, I might keep it open for a little bit, um, but I wanna make sure that I'm focused on delivering this content tonight, getting you what you need for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So if you got any questions, click Q&A. Everybody right now, uh, tell me if you see the Q&A. Does everybody see that? Let me know in the chat. Just say, yes, I see the Q&A, or yes. Just let me know that you see the Q&A and it's there. That's where we're gonna ask questions. I will have, perfect, okay, good. I will have a question and answer session um, for Black Friday. I'm not gonna be able to cover every single thing about Black Friday today. I can't tell you exactly how to, when to send your emails, when to post on social media. I can't do that in this little 30, 45 minute training that we're gonna have tonight. But at the end of tonight's training, I'm gonna show you exactly where you can go get all the help you need uh, step by step to run an amazing Black Friday promotion for yourself. I want you to have a successful Black Friday. I want you to make more money this Black Friday than you've ever made before so that you can spend that money at Christmas on your kids, so that you can seed your memberships and they can build that recurring revenue so that you can get your message out there to the world so you can make a difference. You can help people too, okay? All right. So why Black Friday? What does Black Friday mean to me? Okay, Black Friday is a really important holiday, not just in uh, my business life, you know? You know, just seven, eight years ago, Joss and I were just middle class school teachers in Southeast Kentucky, barely making enough money to get by. You know, we always say we had enough money. Uh, to, uh, we had a, we got paid every two weeks, but it kind of ran out on the Thursday and you got paid on the Friday. Like that was the kind of paychecks that me and Jocelyn got. And, you know, we loved Black Friday back then because that was when we could get stuff. That was when we could go find amazing deals. You know, we couldn't afford the, the, uh, the flat screen TV. So we had to wait for Black Friday to get the deal. And Joss and I were definitely people who went out and we were the people in line. We were those crazy people that you see on TV where they show the doors opening and the mob running in or you see the people that are in line at 5 p.m. and the sale doesn't go on at midnight, like that was me and Jocelyn. Like that's who we were. We were those people. We were like, hey, you know, we'd save our money, you know, all through the summer. We'd save our money when we got paid through those paychecks and 
And we said, all right, let's save our money. Like, we, all right, we've got this five, 500 bucks we've saved up. Let's go buy the kids Christmas presents at that Black Friday sale. Let's go wait in line for that great TV. Let's go get a, a new computer because the one we had six years old and it broke, right? Like, we loved Black Friday. And I remember my, my favorite Black Friday um, that we ever had. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but I'm going to date myself a little bit through this story. Um, but it was, it was like 10, 15 years ago. You know, Joss and I, we were newlyweds. Um, we had no kids at the time. Uh, so we were just broke, young, and married. That's what we were, right? <laughs> we were just broke, young, and married. And Jocelyn, you know, they send those flyers, right? You get the catalogs. You get the flyers that tell you all of the Black Friday deals. There was this one deal at Kmart. Y'all remember Kmart? Who remembers Kmart? Please tell me I'm not the only person alive in here that remembers Kmart. There's still a few Kmarts left, I think. But back then, you know, Kmart was a big deal. And Kmart had this high-tech, amazing Black Friday deal on a two-megapixel digital camera. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an actual camera. Like, not your phone where you've got a camera on your phone. No, this was an actual two-megapixel digital camera and it was state of the art. I mean, it was a big deal. It, it fit in your pocket. It was small. You know, this was back when phones still flipped open and the, you know, the cameras were terrible. You couldn't even barely even see the picture. And this brand new digital two megapixel camera was coming out. And I remember Jocelyn came over to me and said, look at this camera. This is amazing. We've got to get this camera. I'm sick of using, you know, old school film cameras where you had to wind the film, right? Like we didn't have digital cameras yet. We hadn't bought one. So we said, let's go get this digital camera. But we knew this was going to be a hot item. There was only going to be a few at each Kmart, right? And the blue light special was going to run out fast on this, on this digital camera. So we looked at the, we looked at the map. We used to, we used to live in Muhlenberg County, Kentucky, which was a really rural place. And they didn't have a Kmart. That's how small Muhlenberg County was. They didn't even have a Kmart. So we said, okay, we have two options. We can go to Owensboro, Kentucky, which is a bigger city, or we can drive over 30 or 40 minutes to Madisonville, Kentucky. And I, they may have less of the cameras, but I bet less people will be in Madisonville, Kentucky. So we said, hey, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to eat our turkey. We're going to get our dressing, and we are going to go out, and we're going to get in line at like 8 o'clock, and we're going to wait until midnight, and we're going to get this digital camera. Had it all planned out. So we drive over to Madisonville after dinner. It's Black Friday. It's exciting. We've got our – and, you know, I got a couple of Diet pet Cokes ready to go. I'm ready to stay up late and ready to shop till I drop and all that good stuff. We turn the corner into the parking lot and I, our hearts sank. I looked over at Jocelyn and you could see the sadness in her eyes because when we got there, there was already a line of like almost 100 people at the entrance of this Kmart ready to go in for this Black Friday sale. And, you know, those old department stores, the electronics was always in the back. By the time we got in there, it was probably going to be gone. I remember just how depressed it was. And she was like, Oh, I don't even know if I want to try now. I'm like, no, let's, let's just see what happens. Like, we'll never know if we don't try, you know, we got to go save 50 bucks on this digital camera. It's two megapixels, man. This is high tech, right? Okay. I don't even know how many megapixels my iPhone is, but it's probably like a million, whatever it does now. It's like however many HD and all that good stuff. This was a two megapixel camera y'all that we were fighting for. So we got in this line and we waited two or three hours and, you know, Black Friday's rolling. Everybody's anticipating. Some people are getting mad. People are fighting over parking spots. And, you know, it's just, just total chaos, which is, I love chaos. So it was pretty awesome. And we sat there and it was about 1145 and they were about to open the doors. And I remember looking down the line and I was just trying to strategize someone. Am I, I going to have to fight somebody? Am I going to have to knock somebody down and trample somebody to get this camera for my wife? Like, what am I going to do here? My wife can't, my wife is not leaving this Kmart parking lot, a sad lady. That's not happening. Okay. So I was sitting there and I looked and I saw people inside kind of moving around. They were getting ready to open the doors and there were two people walking out and they had keys or something in their hand. And one of them started walking toward the entrance, but the other one started walking toward the exit on the other side of the, like the wall. And I, and I, I remember thinking to myself, Oh my gosh, they're going to open the exit to let more people in. But everyone just assumed they would only open the entrance and the line was at the entrance. So I looked over at Jocelyn. I said, I'll see you inside. She goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get your camera. And I just took off running for the door. And as I'm sprinting, I see other people start filtering out of this line and they're starting to figure it out. Like, oh, oh that door is going to open too. So, so a few people got in front of me, but now I was like 15th or 20th in line instead of 150th or whatever we ended up being when we got, when we got in line. So the doors open and everyone makes a mad rush in, but I'm like, wait, I've got a chance now. So I'm running through and I see everybody's filtering through in front of me. There's like the people coming in the entrance are going like around the cash registers and everybody comes in through the main exit and we're going in through the out and 
we're running down this hall and I see a lot of people, everybody's moving back toward electronics because that's where the TVs are, right? That's where the really good deals are. That's a computer. So I'm like, okay, I know this Kmart. I've been here before. I'm taking a shortcut. So I take a detour through the ladies lingerie and I'm like running through there and I'm knocking bras off and there's lacy stuff hitting me in the face and I'm just throwing through and I'm just knocking things off. I don't even care. I'm just trying to get this camera for my wife. Like I want this Black Friday. I'm crazy. I'm in a frenzy. I'm ready to go. I want this Black Friday camera. I'm getting it. And I turn around, I'm like, okay, so I, I bust through the lingerie, go through the shoes, I come out into the big and tall, and I run smack into this, like, huge, like, six foot five dude. Like, everybody else is going for a TV, and this guy's looking for new belts. I mean, I just ran into him, and I went, oh, my gosh, dude, I'm sorry. And he looked down at me and just went, Ugh. and they're like, okay, I'm gone. And I went around this guy, and I'm running to electronics. And by the time I get to it, I see the counter, and it is already being surrounded like by walking dead zombies by people who want all of these black friday deals there's like people pulling tvs off of shelves and there's people tug of war in for things there's people in those dvd bins and they're just flipping stuff and flipping it around and i and the counter is almost completely surrounded and i see this like 16 year old kid poor guy like behind the counter he doesn't know what's happening he's just like freaking out and totally confused and he's like oh my god and he looks scared and he's just he's just throwing boxes out into the crowd he doesn't people aren't even asking for things they're just like give me stuff and he's just throwing like all these electronics out to people so I squeeze in I work my way up to the counter and I get there and I'm looking down I'm like where's this camera where's this camera and right there on the floor I see a box and there was a camera I saw it was it was the same picture from the ad it was exactly what Jocelyn wanted and I only saw one of them I only saw one camera and you know, I, and I, I was like at this end of the counter and he was like at the other end of the counter. And I was like, how am I, I I'm not going to be able to get it. I see him reach down and pick this box up and he's literally getting ready to throw it. And I'm like, I'm never going to get this camera unless I do something. So I did the only thing that I knew to do in that exact moment. You know, there's a hundred people in the electronics section. People are everywhere fighting over stuff. It's Black Friday madness like you see on TV, y'all. It's crazy. And I knew that I had to get that dude's attention before he threw that box over into the crowd. So at the top of my lungs, I just screamed, stop, as loud as I could. And I'm a football coach, and I am a loud dude. You all listen to my podcast every week. You know, I talk a lot, and I talk really, really loud. Right? You're probably hearing it right now. You're probably pulling your earbuds out. And it's just the top of my lungs, right in the middle of this Black Friday madness in Kmart. I scream at the top of my lungs, stop. And everybody did. The whole place went, whoosh. The whole, everybody just stopped moving. Everybody was quiet. All the heads turned toward me. And all of a sudden, here I am standing there like this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, everyone's looking at me. Like, is it a riot? Is there a fire? Like, what's this guy going to say? Like, everyone's looking at me. And I, and I was like, I just, I just kind of looked, I looked at the crowd. And then I looked at that dude. And I just took, went like this. I took a breath and said, give me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like the meanest voice I could. And he walked over and he handed me the camera. And I just looked around. I looked at the camera. I was like, oh my God, I've got Jocelyn's camera. I didn't even know where Jocelyn was. So I just immediately tucked it like a football, busted through the crowd. And I went and bought the camera for Jocelyn. So why am I telling you the story? Why am I telling you the, one of the craziest dumb, I mean, someone could have killed me for that camera, right? Like who's this guy telling me to stop? Bam, you know? But I, I really wanted that camera. And Black Friday, makes people crazy like people make a decision that they're going to spend money on black friday and they make a decision on what they're going to spend before they get there okay they 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 make their decision before they get to black friday they are ready to go and i'm crazy i know how marketing works and i was so mad about that camera i just i was going to get it like i was will i was literally willing to fight someone over that camera so that my wife would smile and everybody is like that in the United States of America on Black Friday. It's crazy. And it's not just crazy offline. It's not just crazy in Kmart or in Walmart or whatever stores are still open in the real world. It's crazy online too. Like all, everybody is sitting there after Thanksgiving. They've got their phones in their hands. They've got their laptops open. I, I, this is no lie. I've actually seen uh, Jocelyn. We've got three or four cam. We've got three or four computers open on different sites, ready for different deals. And we're just ready to go out and spend our money on Black Friday. But the cool part is people like us, people like me, Jocelyn, like you, right now, you can get on the other side of the cash register. You can go out and take advantage of this feeding frenzy, of this madness. And if you do it right, and if you focus every day of November and you get this right, you send your emails at the right time, you so post on social, 
you build your uh, plan right and you get your discount right, you can take advantage of it too, okay? So I'm gonna give you three tips to make sure that you get to take advantage of the madness, that you get to take advantage of crazy people like me that make a decision they're gonna go spend some money and you're gonna make sure they spend it on your stuff, okay? All right, so let's talk number one, secret number one. That's the little game I play too. Um, I, I'm not in the chat right now. I'm not typing in the chat. You are welcome to talk to each other. But as I go through these secrets, I don't use PowerPoints. I just talk. So if anyone wants to go ahead and type these into the comments for me, that's great. If you're taking notes, you can put it in the chat and do all that stuff, okay? All right. So number one, tip number one for Black Friday, having a great Black Friday, is if you wait, you are too late. If you wait until the day before Black Friday to send an email to your list that says, hey, guys, I'm having a Black Friday sale tomorrow, you are going to get lost in a sea of emails because everybody else is sending that same email at the same time. If you wait to figure out what you're doing until Black Friday week, if you wait until November 15th to start thinking about Black Friday, you're going to miss the boat, right? So much has to happen, not only in your business to be prepared for Black Friday, but even offline in like getting buzz and hype about your sale. You know, Jocelyn knew that she wanted that camera like in October, like the flyers are already out. We're already getting them in our mailbox that say Black Friday deals, door busters. There's this awesome site that I go to that shows Black Friday deals. And I do it because I like to study their headlines. It has every Black Friday mailer from every major retailer for like the last 20 years. So I can just go in and like swipe copy and steal headlines and figure out what they're doing. It's an amazing website. And like they're already posting things for this year right now in October right? Like, this is great. Like, you are, you are falling behind by just, you're, you're probably ahead of everybody else because you're here doing this webinar right now. But like, you've got to be prepared and you've got to prepare your audience for your deal. Okay. So tip number one is if you wait, you're too late. You've got to prep them now. The first week of November, we're going to start telling people about our deal and we're going to build a waiting list. Okay. Tip number one, if you wait, you're too late. So build a waiting list. You've got to tell people early about your deal. You've got to put it on their radar. You've got to get your audience. I don't care if you've got 50 people or 200 people on your list. Joss and I, the first product we ever sold, guys, we only had about 250 people on an email list. We made $3,000. You, you can make a lot of money off of a small list, especially at Black Friday, if you communicate with them properly. Okay? So I want you to try to build a waiting list and start building hype for your Black Friday sale. Like, the no, November 8th, like that's the latest that you need to do it. Okay. First week we're getting it ready and we're going to start building a list like November 8th or something like that. Okay. All right. So number one, if you wait, you're too late, build a list. Okay. Number two, number two. Oh, my bad. Hold on. I got one more thing about the waiting list. You need to come up with some kind of bonus that only the people on the waiting list get right? Um, Jocelyn and I are looking at right now some, uh, maybe one or two of the videos from Flip Your Life Live, the live event that we did back in September. We got a couple of them we think would be a nice little bonus. We could package that together. We usually only sell those videos all together, but we thought about giving away just a couple of the sessions, not the Q&As or anything like that, but, but kind of buckling that in and saying, hey, if you are already, uh, if you did not come to Flip Your Life Live and you'll go ahead and do our Black Friday special or get on our waiting list for our Black Friday special, we'll give you these videos right now for free. You've already got them. It's a $200 value. You're getting $200 for free, basically. So have some kind of bonus to entice people to get on that waiting list, all right? All right, that's tip number one, okay? All right, tip number two. Tip number two. Don't overcomplicate your Black Friday deal. Tip number two. Secret number two. Strategy number two, whatever you want to call it. Don't overcomplicate the deal. Do you know why we wanted that camera? It was 25% off. That's it. They didn't have to convince us that it was the highest tech thing. That was cool. It was what we wanted. That's sure. But like people want what they want, but we just wanted a deal. And that's all your customer want. We wanted 25% off the camera. It was $200. We wanted 25% off. So it'll be 150. We want to save 50 bucks. Like it was 25% off. Like 25% off is a great deal, right? So like we wanted the discount. We wanted the deal. So don't overcomplicate your Black Friday offer. That's tip number two. Just offer a discount. Just make them a deal. Make them a discount that you don't offer any time throughout the year, right? And I know some people like shrink back from that and they're like, well, 
you know, this guru told me that I shouldn't cheapen my offer. This guru told me that don't change my price because, you know, don't give in on my price because vanity pricing and we got to stroke our ego and our price is our price and all that stuff. No, it's Black Friday. People expect a discount. If you don't give them a discount, they are not going to take advantage of your deal. They're going to go somewhere else because no matter what you offer, someone else is telling them that they're going to save money. And if they can go save money on something else, they'll buy your thing later or won't buy it at all. Okay. So like, and just think about a 25% discount. Like say you have a product that's a hundred dollars. Maybe you have a membership that's a hundred bucks a month. Okay. If you go out and sell 10, okay, great. That's a thousand bucks a month. Good job. You sold 10 at a hundred bucks a month on black Friday. But what if you had just offered a 25% discount and sold 20? Now you would make $1,500 instead of the zero after the thousand before, right? So just offer a discount. Think up a discount. Don't worry about justifying the discount to anybody else. If anybody that's already a customer asked, give it to them too. Or there's other strategies and tricks you can do, like especially with a monthly membership, you can do things like quarterly, annual options like that. There's lots of different discounts that we can offer. You can go beyond 25%. 25% is a great discount, but you can go higher than that if you want to, if it moves more volume, because you want Black Friday to create a lot of customers. That's your real goal. You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make more money. You're going to make a ton of money. But like, here's the deal. You want more customers because more customers you can sell stuff to later. You can upsell them stuff. You can get them to pay your membership over and over and over again. You're just trying to get people in the door on Black Friday any way you can. Okay. So go out, even if it's a loss leader, like go out, offer a 25% discount. That's a great discount. 25% discount. Try that. See if that'll work. Do something to give people a great deal because people are looking for deals and discounts on Black Friday. Okay. All right. So number two, uh, number one was, uh, let me check these amazing notes by Beth. Can we give Beth a standing ovation in the chat room? And uh, Deanna, I think is doing a great job too here, like crushing it. All right, so number one, if you wait, you're too late. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a daily plan, guys, for November. If you're not ready with a daily plan and you're not going with this Black Friday deal, you gotta get it done early. Ads have to be submitted early. Emails have to be written early. You gotta have all this stuff ready to go. It's overwhelming, I get it, but you gotta be done early because if you wait, you're too late. Number two, offer a discount. Start at 25%, that's a great discount. 25% is a great discount. You can go higher. You want to probably can't go lower than that though. Okay. But just offer a discount, offer some kind of discount. You can structure it however you want, but you got to offer a discount. And strategy number three for a great black Friday sale is going all in on one promotion for one month. All right. Black Friday is different. Now I'm a big believer in making sales every day. I have a, uh, I have a philosophy in my mind. One, I'm prolific. I wear, I've got like five copies of this prolific shirt and I try to wear it. This is my uniform. I wear it every day. I want to go in the, I want to go look in the mirror every day and say, be prolific. You know what prolific means? Prolific means doing stuff every day. Right. And I'm a big believer in making a sale every day. I usually do a different promotion though, every week. Like I'm always thinking, thinking differently. I might be selling one thing one week. I might be selling an annual price another week. I might be selling a different product, you know, this week. I'm always rotating through promotions, right? <clears throat> like every week or maybe even every day. There's some weeks I'll promote something different every day. Monday might be promote the Flip Your Life community. Uh, Tuesday might be promote our new podcast that just came out. Wednesday might be promote Prolific Monthly, my print newsletter, right? Uh, Thursday, I may just spend a whole day on U.S. History Teachers, which is one of my other companies, one of my other businesses. So I'm doing all of these things all the time. But on, in November, I promise you that I'm going to be prolifically worrying about Black Friday every day. I'm going to squeeze all my promotion to point toward those four days between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I'm going to be all in because I want to be in the tank when the feeding frenzy starts, right? I want to make sure that everything is funneling and pushing. Even if my sales drop a little bit the first two weeks of the month, I know I'm going to make it up so much at the end of the month. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be focused on getting that waiting list together. I'm going to be focused on telling my audience that we've got a discount. I'm going to be focused on Black Friday. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess around and be like, ah, I might send out an email. You know, I want to make sure that I am selling one thing, my deal on black Friday every day. We're going to be putting a PS in every email. We're going to be subject lining it. We're going to be writing on social media every day. We're going to be building that waiting list. We're going to make sure we're going to be spending ad money and everything is going to be pointing toward the last day of 
the month. It's not even the last day. It's like February, uh, what is it, 29th? Friday the 29th of November is Black Friday this year. So the 29th through December 1st or 2nd, whatever Cyber Monday is, I'm going to be focusing all my energy on it. I'm going to be talking about Black Friday on November 3rd. That's when I think the first email that I've got planned, my plan ready to go, I'm ready to send that out. My plan is going to be ready to go. I think November 3rd is the first time I mention Black Friday. 26 days before Black Friday even happens, I'm going to be prolific. And I'm going to be out there getting it done every single day to make sure that everybody on my list, on my social media, listening to my podcast, coming to my website is ready for my Black Friday deal. We would not have waited in line for four hours for a $50 discount, 25% off. Great discount, right? We would not have done that if we hadn't have known about the deal a month ahead of time because Jocelyn got to hold the camera. She got to see the picture of it. She got to tape it, rip it out, and hang it on the fridge with a magnet, right? She's ready. She knew it was coming, okay? Like, you need to be telling your people about this stuff so they're waiting for the deal, anticipating the deal. They want the deal. You need to be reminding them, don't spend all your money on pajamas and TVs. Don't do it. You need to do this for my product because of X, Y, Z. These are the reasons. And you need to be hyped up and you need to be ready to go and you need to be all in on this. So it's going to take commitment to do this, right? A lot of moving parts. I know it's overwhelming. I know it feels overwhelming right now. A lot of moving parts, but you've got to be prolific. You have to have people waiting and anticipating and thinking about your deal so that they don't think about everyone else's deal, right? You are competing with every single other person that is trying to get your customer's attention. So get out of the gate first and get out of the gate often and be ahead before the race even starts and you're going to win. Okay. All right. So I'm going to open up to Q and A's here in a minute. I see six questions right now. Looks like, man, I'm loving zoom for my webinars. This is amazing. All right. I got six, uh, six questions waiting on me there. Um, I had a couple questions via email that some people sent in as well. I'll try to get, I'm not going to get into nuts and bolts. I'm going to uh, talk to you more in here in a little bit about what I can do to help you get through the nuts and bolts. Uh, before we get to the Q and a, um, if you've got any questions right now, I see some people typed a couple questions in the comments. You have to click the Q&A button. I'm only going to go to that Q&A button, okay? I'm going to do a quick review, right? I'm going to do a quick review on Black Friday stuff. Uh, my three tips, just, one, just real quick, run through them again, make sure everybody's got them written down. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about these questions, and then I'm going to make you guys an offer. I have got a tool. I have got something made for you to help you plan every single day next month for November so that you don't have to be overwhelmed. So you know when to email your list and how to set up your waiting list and what discounts to offer. And uh, I want to show you guys that that's going to be in about 15 minutes after I do this Q and a. So if that sounds good, let me know. Just say, yeah, sounds good in the, in the uh, comments. Let me tell you about that. I got an awesome tool here right here. I want to show you on how to get your black Friday sale off to a great start. And, uh, but first, I want to jump into these questions. And uh, if you've got those questions, please put those in the Q&A box, not in the comments. Okay. All right. Jennifer says, uh, glad to be here. Oh, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer Dixon. I'm glad you're here too. Uh, Shay says, I'm struggling to get email signups on Facebook and Pinterest currently. And I'm afraid that I won't have a list to promote Black Friday to. I'm sending cold traffic to my freebie. Should I be? Okay. I would not worry about the size of the list as much as I would worry about getting to the list you have. And we tell people this all the time. Like it's not just your email list. It's not just your social media. Um, it's not just, you know, uh, your phone numbers you collect or whatever. It's anyone who's paying attention to you. Like there's going to be strategies that we can use daily to reach out to your network, right? Like what if you just reached out to five people every day in November to tell them, hey, I'm having a Black Friday special. And if you know anyone that needs my service, please forward this email to them. Go old school with it, right? Like you don't have to just send it to your list. And focus on converting the list you've got, not just building a new list. Like I said, if you have 100 people paying attention to you in any way, I'm talking on social, in Facebook groups, in email lists, in person, if you know 10 people that know 10 people, you've got a network. You've got some people you can reach out to and you have to think, listen, building the list up to this point is before Black Friday. We are literally, what, 10 days away from the new month, right? So like, yes, you can keep building your list. You can do some webinars to try to grow your list. You can do whatever you want to do to grow your list. 
but you need to focus on the people you got now. And like, don't, and you know, if, if you don't have enough resources, you need to get resourceful. You need to figure out how you can reach a hundred people with this offer, like right now. Everyone on this call, everyone who watches this video later, you have a hundred people, 100% that you can definitely find to, to pitch your offer to, okay? If 10 of them buy, how would that change your life? How would that change next month's revenue? How would that change your future, okay? So make sure that you are just focusing on the people you got. I, I get it, but right now, we got to focus on the people that we can get to, okay? Because Black Friday is upon us. It's like winter is coming. Black Friday is here, right? This is Game of Thrones, and we're going in for the kill, okay? Nobody's going to live through this episode. So we've got to go in right now and focus on what we've got, all right? Uh, let's see. Uh, what type of Black Friday deal do you recommend for a new membership? A discount. Um, just a discount. I don't care how you do it. Um, I can go into detail in it. Um, you know, I mean, you, I wouldn't do a lifetime membership. I see I've been planning to do a lifetime deal. You could do a lifetime deal if you wanted to. If you want to just get some people in the door, that's fine. Um, if you have a service-based business, that's going to be really overwhelming. I might do an annual deal before I do a lifetime deal um, just to get people in fast. You know what I'm saying? I don't think lifetime is going to really sell things as much as it's not going to make that much of a difference. People are looking at the number, right? If they were going to spend 500 and they end up spending three, that's all they care about. They don't really care about the terms. So I would probably not do lifetime deals. I would just take your core offer, offer a discount. That, that's the principle. Don't overcomplicate it. No answer is wrong at Black Friday. If you are offering a product for less money, people will buy it. That's what they want to see. So don't, you know, start at 25%. That's a great discount. 25% discount's a great discount. You can go up to 50 and uh, you should be fine, okay? Uh, Roz says, for monthly memberships, do you recommend that your Black Friday discount is just the first month? No, I actually, that's a great, okay, great question. Um, actually, that's a great way to do a big discount on a monthly plan is to uh, offer a discount on the first month. You're reading my mind, Roz. You're reading my mind. Uh, to get people into your product, to get them to go pay more later. You can, do, you can even do like first, uh, the first three months or something. You can make it real, or like a great gimmick might be, Get 25% uh, off for uh, the rest of 2019. You know, it's two months, right? So you could sell two deals or whatever. Like don't pay the full price until 2020, you know, until the next decade. So you could totally do something like that, get people in the door. Or you could do some kind of annual plan too. That's a great way to do it. Annual plans sell really good at, uh, at Black Friday. I just got an e a letter the other day, Roz, from Dollywood. We have season tickets at Dollywood. We have gold passes, and we take the kids to Dollywood six or seven times a year. It's an uh, amusement park, really, really world-class amusement park down in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And um, I just got my, um, I just got my uh, letter for renewal on the thing, and it was like, you have, I think they said you have until like December 2nd or something to renew it at a discount. And, you know, it was like, you know, whatever, get the first, you know, three months free or something like that. So, you know, it was exactly what you're talking about here. They have like monthly plans for the gold passes and stuff too. So, um, yeah, that's a great way to do a discount. Uh, Laura says, should we run ads to get people on our Black Friday waiting list? Yes. Yes. 100% yes. Yes. That's exactly what you're going to use ads for. Um, and ads are really sketchy. Uh, like there's actually, ads are really hard. Everybody's trying to run a Black Friday ad. There's a lot of clutter and confusion at Black Friday and ads and there's fighting and ad costs are up a little bit, but it doesn't matter because we're going to make money back on sales. So forget it. Invest to make money. Invest to make money. Uh, ad spend is an investment. It is not a cost. So, you know, there's a lot of nuance to how you run ads, when you run ads, like what ads do you start when throughout the month? Um, but you do need to be running ads for sure. Okay. Christy says, hey, Christy. Christy says, uh, Craig may have already asked this, and maybe we can talk about this in private coaching, one of my boxer peeps. Uh, but how do I do this given that my product isn't ready? Okay. Um, Black Friday is an amazing time to launch a product. It's an amazing time to launch a product because you have this built-in scarcity that's not artificial. Like a lot of times when people launch a product, they're trying to figure out how to open it and close it and get scarcity and get urgency, right? You have that. I'm opening the product or I'm launching something for these four days. And you've got the whole month to hype it to your audience, right? And your list. So like it creates this, it's like this real natural way to launch a product and place to watch or launch a product in the calendar. Like I actually only, I, like there's like certain times I like to launch products. Like if we're launching something new, I love the summer. I love New Year's and I love Black Friday because those are just three really natural places. Like, you know, it's the end of summer. 
go into the fall with a great new thing, you know, or it's a new year, new year, new you, let's do it, you know, or like Black Friday, four days, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, we're opening and closing the doors, not opening them again until 2020, but that's only like a month. So you're just going to close the doors for a month and you can relaunch a new year, right? So like, you know, it's it just got this natural way, this feeling, this place in the calendar to like launch the stuff. So I think it's a great, great time, Christy, to launch a product. And if you want to hit me up on Voxer, uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff after the call and we can, we can talk about that. You don't even have, and it's also a great time to pre-launch. You may not have a single thing done. If you've got the first module done, you can pre-launch then on a steep discount, makes sense during Black Friday to give people a founder's rate and all this stuff. Like it's an awesome opportunity to do it. And then you can turn right back around and do it at New Year. So it's really good. Uh, how, how do you do price for brick and mortar business memberships don't undervalue current members? Uh, it would have to be on a length. Um, here, here's how you always, here's the, here's the answer to getting around this every time it comes up. How do you not make your current monthly customers mad with a discounted monthly price? It's easy. You don't offer a discounted monthly price. You offer a discounted price at length. So it's like, oh, I'll give you, if my price is $50 a month, I might offer a hundred for three months, right? So I'm giving them a 30% discount, 33% discount, but I'm rewarding commitment. And if the monthly person says, well, I'm paying $50 a month, you say, well, you're not committed. You didn't join for three months. They did. They get rewards. And this is the real world, sunshine. And people get rewarded for taking action. So if you would like to commit, you can sign up here and you can save as much money as they are. So do, do a length, do like a length of the product. Um, you can do annual, you can do six months, you can do quarterly. Um, you can do two months, like for 50%, like two months for the price of one and just sign them up for it. Right. Um, the great thing, like we talked about earlier, uh, one of the best promotions you can run is getting the first month at a discount. So just run that. And then if somebody comes in and they're like, well, I didn't get that. Be like, well, yeah, I know, but it's only for one month. They don't, they're paying what you pay after that. Okay. Um, that would be a great thing for you, Jennifer. Jennifer runs a brick and mortar yoga studio and or fitness place. And like, um, it's a loss leader. Like if you know lifetime value, people stay six or seven months, like give them the first month like for 80, 75% off or 25% off, like 25% off straight discount. So like, you know, do that if you want to, like, and you can, like, that'd be a good, cause you're only losing money the first month and they pay the normal price. So, and people are used to that. That's what most people do. You know, when you sign up for cable, that's what happens. Hey, get your first month free. Or when you sign up for the WWE network, which is something I, I just signed up for ESPN plus, and I got the first month free. Like, you know, they're just giving it to you for free or at a discount, and then they're charging you the normal price afterwards. All right. Craig said, if it's not quite finished, um, sell what is finished and then sell the promise of what will be finished. But you, Craig, your, your stuff's good, man. You've got, you, you, if you've got the first module done, which you can finish in the next 10 days, if you got the first, if 25% of your product is done, and you can explain what the other 75% is going to be, sell it on Black Friday, baby launch quit waiting flip your life live was a month ago craig come on brother let's go get it after it let's go get it done um facebook is slow to approving ads lately what's the latest recommendation uh just get as long as your black friday stuff is in by the i don't know i think i think on my calendar we're uh, hold on i don't know i don't have it right in front of me i think when we're doing it we're trying to try and get ours submitted by the 10th and you should be good to go like i'm going to start my waiting list ads very soon though those are going to be like the probably the third and I'm going to get that rolling out. So, you know, you need to get your ads ready. We need to talk about strategy for that. Marty says with golf being off season for most, how do I build that hype? Sell hope for next season. Uh, Marty, if you could, if you could spin it towards something like, um, you know, in my black for maybe your black Friday deal, you could talk about it. Like uh, seven things. Maybe you just spin the language to so seven things you can do in the off season to get better for, to have a better, to, to shoot a better round your first round than your last round this year or something like yeah sell hope <laughs> like oh yeah the hope of next year you know like or like or you could also like um you could also play off christmas like hey for i know you golf lovers are going to be getting a lot of cool hardware and stuff to play with at christmas let me show you some things you can do with all that new those new toys you get a new set of golf clubs for christmas let me show you three drills you can do this winter to get better before the spring or something like that um beth says i am currently charging a beta price of 49 a year. I was hoping to raise the price soon. Can or should I raise the price to 60 and offer it? Yeah, but you just need to raise it now. Like, um, go ahead and raise it now. Like right now, like, get, get, like go ahead and raise your price to whatever 59. And then it's like that for a couple of weeks. And then you can offer a discount like uh, department stores and, and real, real t- uh, retail stores do this all the time. 
Like they'll spend the first two months, they'll spend September and October raising their price a little bit. And then they'll offer a really big discount that goes below the original price. Like you're doing here is still a good deal. It's still less than you're charging now, but yeah, that's totally cool to do that. That's fine. Um, I wouldn't do too much of that. I, I, I would just offer a crazy deal. Like do the first month for 25% off the current price. And then, and then you can say, I'm going to ra I'm raising my prices next month. So this is a great, great deal. Get those members in and flood your members in. Don't, don't nitpick over that's $11 that you're talking about. Okay. Um, you know, it's $11. Like that's not going to make a difference in someone's world. So like, don't worry about charge 25% off the current price and just do it and get people into it and, and, and let people and get more people in, right. Get a bunch of buyers so you can sell them stuff later. Okay. Um, don't, don't worry. That's what I'm saying, guys. Don't overcomplicate this. Like, don't think, don't think whatever your price is today. I want everybody to mark it down 25%. Okay. Like, do that. Mark it down 50%. It's not going to hurt you in the long run. If you go out and get a bunch of members, if you go out and get a bunch of sales. So just mark the price down. Don't ever complicate it. Uh, Kim says, what deal could you offer if you have a membership, but don't want to ever reduce the price because this could lead to people not buying the subscription until the price goes down again. That will not happen. I promise you that will not happen. 90% of your list will never know about this discount. I sent, the, I sent my, I sent this email to this webinar for 10, for thousands of people, tens of thousands of people. And you'll get about a, couple hundred register and you know 50 to 100 show up i mean it's like most people will not no one remember okay who can remember the discount that we offered on flip your life annual plans in march of this year go tell me can anyone remember what we did write it in the write it in the chat box right now who can remember that can any and i bet you guys are actually our fans too i bet you guys pay attention to what we do can anyone remember that huh no no, it wasn't reduced in night. No, annuals. Nope, not 733. Nope, nobody's right. You know why? I didn't even offer a discount in March. Trick question. None of you know what's going on. Y'all don't remember that stuff. And nobody will remember yours either. So don't, people don't do that. That is a fear that a lot of people have. I'm not picking on you. Um, but let's, I love you. But that's not going to happen. Okay? Offer a discount. Okay? And also, too, uh, this is actually a good question because we can go into this. Like, I'm actually going into this in Prolific Monthly this month. Like these discounts are, you do want to make this a pretty special discount. Like I wouldn't do this discount all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something that you do maybe twice a year um, at most, you know, so don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, do you need to run daily ads? You need to be emailing daily. Kim, prolific, Kim, prolific. Every day, every minute. Listen, you know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm seriously thinking about doing this, y'all. I'm thinking about scheduling 24 emails for 24 straight hours on Black Friday. And I'm just going to hammer my list every hour counting down 23 hours left or it'd be on cyber Monday, but at midnight, 23 hours left, 24 hours left, 22, 24. I'm just going to hammer the list and I want to watch those people unsubscribe and I'm going to watch those other people buy. And I don't care what happens with either lane. Just pick a lane, baby, left or right and go. Okay. And I'm really thinking about doing that on like Friday just for fun. So uh, it's a great way to call your list and clean it up a little bit. And uh, you know, just getting hype out there. So Email them until they buy or unsubscribe. That's Shane Sam's philosophy, okay? So, yeah, daily everything. And, and uh, I'm actually going to be talking about that here in just a few minutes about how I'm going to be doing that, okay? All right, let's see. Katie says, if you do a 25% off annual membership, does it renew at that price next year? Yeah, I always, I do. I, Katie, I'll tell you what we do, and you all can do what you want. We renew our annual plans at the monthly rate. And then we offer them to upgrade again. I, I don't actually upgrade people anymore to that. If you buy an annual, it's for that year. And then I will offer you the same price after I renew you monthly. Um, we changed our terms and conditions about four months ago to do that because I don't know. annual. I just hate like people getting that big charge again. And sometimes they forget about it. And, you know, I felt really bad. I didn't feel like it served my customer well. So I'd recommend uh, letting it go, renewing them, uh, either letting their subscription go away and reselling renewing them at a monthly and then offering them to upgrade again um, just to increase lifetime value. But you know, that, that's what we do. So yeah, I, I, but you do want to offer them the same price. You don't want their price to go up. If anything, you want to make it go down to increase lifetime value. Okay. Uh, do you offer another black Friday offer for your existing customers already subscribed to your core offer? It would be a different off. It would be a different product. Like for example, like for our, uh, we're going to offer a couple of different things for black Friday. Like certain, you know, our, our members might get a different deal for some for prolific for all access our coaching program right like so we're going to offer different products like monthly members i might offer an annual plan 
but I might offer something different to people who are not members, you know, so you can look around and do that. But 90% of my attention on my Black Friday promotions will be focused on people who are not members. I want to move the needle. Okay. I want to get people who've been joining my list for the last three months. I want them moved over into the community. Right. So that's what we're thinking about is getting, I want new money, new blood. That's what I want. Okay. Um, and we offer stuff for our, our members like that all the time anyway. So, um, let's see, I already offer two months free to sign up. Not sure what deal I can offer. Kim, no one knows about your two month off free month offer. So go offer them a quarterly price. That's 25% off. Go offer an annual plan. Go, that's 25% off. Go offer, um, you know, um, go offer them to jump into the monthly price price at 25% off for good. Like in, instead of joining for free. Right. Okay. TC says, what happens if your product will be fully ready before the end of October? Do I wait until black Friday to launch? You can. Yeah. Why not? Great timing. I mean, good job. We finished it up TC right at the right time, you know? So what a great way to launch, you know, that gives you a great way to get out there and get the hype out and get the word out and talk to those, you know, uh, people and get them after it, you know, uh, anonymous attendee. Raise the price a little bit and then offer a discount on Black Friday. Would it work? Fixed price product, not the recurring like membership. Other, yeah, courses would work. Otherwise, would you suggest another strategy for fixed price product? I would need to know the product. So anonymous attendee, um, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what your product is. If you're talking about a course, then I would definitely just offer the discount on courses. Courses work great. I, I, I tell you, a lot of my Black Friday offers in the past, we've taken courses from the Flip Your Life community and we've offered them as one-off products, and that's worked great. We did a promotion two years ago where we took like three courses out of the community and put them together in a little course bundle. And, um, you know, if we sold those products, we'd sell them for probably 200 a piece. And, you know, so it's probably a $600 product. We probably sold it for like 200, and it made thousands of dollars. So, I mean, courses, fixed products, discounts, man. Discounts work. Like, if you go to the hardware store on Black Friday, guess what? They're going to discount the hammers. If you go to Best Buy on Black Friday, they're going to discount the TVs. If you go to Walmart, they're going to discount everything in the whole store, right? If you go to Kroger or the grocery store, they're probably going to discount milk. Like, they're, everything's going to have a discount. So, you got to find a way to get the discount in, okay? Um, if you're short on discounts, then you can probably do some kind of bonus. Um, bonuses are a good follow-up, but they're not going to convert as good as just saving cash. you got to save people money. Um, on Black Friday. Okay. All right. Great questions. A lot of great topics discussed. And uh, before we go, I want to let you guys know that tonight is actually the last night that you can sign up for the November Black Friday edition of my print calendar and newsletter and to do list, marketing to do list, marketing calendar for November of this year. And guess what the topic is? It is all about. Black Friday. This is a daily calendar for you guys that do not subscribe to this or do not know about it. If you do subscribe to it, let us know in the chat. But I have a daily calendar where I show you what to do every single day of the month. Like you wake up on Monday the 1st or whatever it is and you say, oh, this is what I do. And I tell you what to do every single day of the month to plan your Black Friday promotions, to what emails to send on each day, what social media to send every day. I literally tell you exactly what to do every single day of the month. And this one's very special. This is a different if, uh, issue of Prolific Monthly. I actually went through, after I made the calendar, when you flip open on page four, there's always a calendar inside this newsletter, okay? This is my print newsletter. I'm, literally, I'm mailing you this. It's in digital. You're going to get this in your hand. You're going to be able to highlight and circle it. And I send this to you. And I actually went through every day, and I wrote two to three paragraphs about every single day in November, November 1st, 2nd, 3rd, all the way through December 5th. And I actually wrote down what to do before Black Friday, how to hype it, how to buzz it, what emails to send. I've got subject lines written in the paragraph so that you just know exactly what to say to build your waiting list, to build the buzz, to build the hype. I go deep. I've got a whole page on just pricing to go even deeper on pricing, coming up with other ideas like bonuses and things like that to get people on your waiting list, to get people to buy your Black Friday product. All of that is going to be in the November issue of Black of a Prolific Monthly, all for Black Friday. It's all in there. Every word is about Black Friday this month. I didn't go off on sales pages. I didn't talk about improving your anything else. I told you, we are laser focused 
because Black Friday is here and we got to get after it. And I spent like an entire week and a half going through every single day of the month to make sure that you knew exactly what to do in November for Black Friday. And this is the last night that you can order this before we go to print tomorrow. I'm going to print uh, at like 12 o'clock tomorrow. I'm sending in the buyer's list. He's already got the file to print it out. And we are mailing this out tomorrow evening. So what I want to give you guys for showing up, because you're clearly interested in having a great Black Friday, I'm going to give you guys 25% off your first month of Prolific Monthly. That is a great deal. I have not discounted this price except for our Flip Your Life Live attendees one time ever since this thing has been in publication has it been discounted. And this is 25% this is off your first month of Prolific Monthly. And then I will mail this to you tomorrow and you will get this in your hands before November 1st so that you can spend time with it, so you can look at it, so you can open it up and actually plan out your emails get your ads going, plan everything. I've done the work for you every day of the month so that you don't mess this up. You don't miss your opportunity uh, on Black Friday. If you open the chat right now, I just dropped a link. I just dropped the link in to get 25% off your first month of Prolific Monthly. There's no commitment. You can cancel anytime. If you just want to jump in right now and get the November issue for 25% off, you can cancel later. That's fine. I don't care. But I've, I want you guys to have this. I want this document in your hand in the next few days, when we mail them out, I want you to get this in your mailbox so that you can open it and you know exactly what to do every day of the month in November. And when you get to Black Friday, you're going to have buzz. You're going to have built hype. You're going to have a waiting list. You're going to have ads running. You're not going to miss all these opportunities because this really is the best month of the year to make a bunch of money fast, to get a bunch of new members, to get people in your list. And I don't want you to have to worry about it. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. I don't want you to be stressed out. I want you to get Prolific Monthly's November issue for 25% off just for coming here tonight, just for being here on this Black Friday promotion, this Black Friday sale. And I want you to get that. Click that link. It'll go straight to the coupon code. You can also go to prolificmonthly.com. Uh, don't type anything before it, just prolificmonthly.com. And uh, when you get to the checkout, the code is November 19, November 19. I'm going to type that in there again. Uh, make sure you can see that in the chat. If you can see that, let me know. Give me a yes anybody can see that but I am really super proud of this issue I love prolific monthly this is my favorite thing that I create and I create a lot of stuff guys and I uh, this thing is growing it is starting to make huge differences in people's lives they open it up and they say oh man it's November 5th what am I supposed to do today on November 5th boom I got it I tell you exactly what to do I show you how I'm being prolific and I practice what I preach. I will be following the plan with you. You will see this in your inbox from me. You will see me doing the same things you are. I'll be there in this magazine, in this print thing right now, so in this newsletter, so that you can get your Black Friday promotion done. We got, we got subscribers in the chat right now telling us how much they love this thing. And I want to give you 25% off your first month, your first month issue. If you love it, you can keep it. If you don't, you can cancel anytime. You can just use it for Black Friday. But look, this thing right now is if 75 bucks, 75 bucks is how much it costs with the discount. Okay. If you, if I can't make you more than $75 with this thing, you should cancel on black Friday. I come on now. I want you to cancel. If I don't make you $75 back in your pocket on black Friday, we'll make a deal. You Scott, you subscribe, you do it. And if you don't make $75 back, I'll send you $75 back. I'll give you your money back. It's fine. You can cancel. You never have to do anything else again. I don't care. But like, guys, if you're going to make $75 if you do what's in this thing. If you actually do it, then you got to do every word every day. You got to put the work in. You got to prove it to me. But you got, you got to go out and be prolific yourself. You got to do the work. You know, Joss and I say that we help people identify their God-given talents and use their God-given talents. You've got God-given talents that you've created into products. I'm here to help you use it. That's what Prolific Monthly is for. It is a detailed step-by-step to-do list every day of the month, a calendar that tells you what to do, but you got to go out and do it, right? And I'm going to give you 25% off tonight. And I'm going to throw up in something I've not ever done before, okay? Now, we got a new subscriber. What's up, Beth? Done. we got a new subscriber taking advantage of that discount. I don't discount this thing, guys. It's usually $99 a month, and I keep it that way. I love the price of the product. It's worth every penny. You're going to make more than $100 every time you do what it says, okay? But I'm giving you a special $25 uh, discount, 25% discount right now for November so that you can have a great Black Friday sale. And on November 7th, November 7th, here's what I'm going to do. Prolific monthly subscribers only. 
Okay. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a Q and a after you get prolific monthly in your hand, after you flip through it and you highlight it and you write on it and you start working on it that first week, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a special Q and a just follow ups for anyone who has subscribed to prolific monthly. This is not for anybody else. It's not for anybody in the community. It's not for anybody on our email list. This is only for prolific monthly subscribers. And I want to wait. I don't want to do it at the first. I want you to get prolific monthly in your hands. I want you to hold this November edition. Look at that. Black Friday. It's coming. I want you to have it in your hand. I want you to wrestle with it. I want you to look at it. There's a section in here. I, I do this every month where I ask deep thought provoking questions about what I talk about in the rest of the publication and the rest of the newsletter. And I want you to wrestle with those questions. I want you to come up with new questions and I'm going to show up for you. I think it's November 7th. Let me look at it again. Let me make sure it might've been the eighth. Jocelyn says I'm not allowed to touch the calendar. So let me make sure. Cause I don't want to break something. That's what I do around here. I break things. Uh, let's see what day was it? Uh, let's see. Okay. It is no, it is November 7th. It's a Thursday. Okay. November 7th. We are going to have just a, just a me office hours, prolific monthly. You guys come in right here. I'm answering your questions. You want to ask me five questions. You can ask five questions. Okay. So it shouldn't be a, a bunch of people on the call. And we're going to get in here and I'm going to answer your questions. So you're going to get 25% off. You're going to have an amazing Black Friday sale. I'm telling you, you will make more than $75. Like that, this is an investment. You go out and do it and you put it together and you do your Black Friday sale. And then you send me an email that tells me how much you made on your Black Friday sale. You're going to make more. This is going to be make you more money than you're spending on it. I'm giving you a 25% discount. We've already talked about how good of a discount that is. 25% discount off your first month. Cancel any time. There's no problem. If you don't want it for December, don't do it. But I'm going to have some amazing New Year's stuff in there for then. And you really want to get that. But definitely you want to get this Black Friday edition. I want you to make money. I want you to go out and have some success. I want you to go out and have the best Black Friday you could ever have. Black Friday has always made us a ton of money. It's always got us a bunch of new members. It's going to do it again this year. We've got a solid plan. I'm really excited about what we're doing for Black Friday. And I'm sharing the behind the scenes of every day of what I'm going to be doing for Black Friday with you so that you can do it too. And you can get out there and make that money too. So sign up tonight. Um, I'm going to drop that link in the chat one more time. And there that is. I am going to be sharing this on the replay link later. I'm going to be sending out a replay at some point here in the next few minutes, but whenever I get it downloaded and uploaded and all that good stuff. So we're going to have a replay to this, going to have the link in that replay, going to put a PS in it. And I really want Prolific Monthly to be in your hands a week from tomorrow. We're going to go to print tomorrow. I'm going to be sending the customer list probably about four o'clock. He's going to, we've already got that. We've already got these printed. They're already in envelopes. All they're waiting for are labels. And I want your name to be, your name, if you have not ordered yet, is not on the label. I want you to be, I want your name on one of the labels that we, we print, slap these on tomorrow. We send them first class in a hard envelope. You're going to get it quick. It should be there by the end of the week. And you're going to be, you're going to have this in your hand. You're going to have a great plan. You're going to be able to look through this and you won't be overwhelmed. You're not going to have to worry about when to start ads. You're not going to have to worry every day. Like, what do I email my list? Like, I'm telling you every day. And I have never went this much de detail. I've never went this deep on one of these calendars in Prolific Monthly. Like you guys, I actually sent one to uh, one of our subscribers. He's also one of my all access uh, customers. I sent it to him the other day. I was like, what do you think? And he, his mind, he just sent me back a mind exploding uh, emoji. He's like, this is crazy. There's nothing like this anywhere where I literally in real time send this to you and you know exactly what to do every single day of the month. So click that link, 25% off. Click that link, 25% off of the first month of prolific monthly i'm gonna actually go ahead i think we got a few more questions here um looks like a few questions came in so i'm gonna answer a few more questions i'm not gonna go anywhere right now um i'm gonna go ahead and just leave that link up you can go ahead and put that in right now go ahead and sign up for that tonight uh super excited saw a bunch of people already signing up loving that uh super excited to get you guys a copy of prolific monthly can't wait to talk to you on november 7th as well okay roz says if i sign up today will it be in australia before november okay there is not a digital copy domestically, Roz, for uh, Prolific Monthly. But what I do do is I do for international customers only, I send you a, um, a copy of the calendar and stuff. So if you are an international subscriber, you will still get it mailed. Um, Australia usually gets there probably in about seven to 10 days. We're trying to get it out tomorrow so that we've got a long time. Because the actual calendar, the first couple of days of the month, like November 1st and 2nd, is for the calendar, like going over it 
printing it, looking it at, looking at it and stuff. And then you'll probably get it probably somewhere around 10 days. So if we send it out tomorrow, you should get it by the second maybe. And um, either way, I will get you a copy of it digitally. I do not, I do not do a digital copy of this. I individually send it to international subscribers. We've got subscribers for prolific monthly in Canada in Saudi Arabia. We've got some Australian people. We got uh, subscribers in Switzerland. Um, so we do ship these internationally, uh, but international shipping is weird and I cannot guarantee when it will get there, but we will get it to you as fast as possible. Okay. Uh, Christy says, Shane, when should we look for November's prolific monthly to arrive? I love it. Okay. Um, I, we're sending it tomorrow. We send it first class mail, the highest we can pay as fast as we can get it there. So it's priority mail. It should be there in three to four days. Uh, in the domestic inside the continental U.S. Or uh, if you're in the 40, the lower 48 states, you should get it this week, okay? Um, it will be mailed out no later than Tuesday. That's, that's when they usually, I think they print them, get the labels on them tomorrow, and then they, uh, they're already printed. I actually got it in the, uh, a, a couple days ago so we could have printed early because I knew people would want this in their hands fast. So we're going to ship them out probably tomorrow night or maybe Tuesday morning at the latest, and today's the 20th. So it's the 21st, 22nd. So we should, I'm, I want them there this week. I really want them there this week. That's what I'm going to try for. Uh, me and Jocelyn are going to go through the list tomorrow morning. We're going to make sure everybody's in order, make sure all the addresses look good. And we're getting these shipped out. Um, we, we put a lot of work into this issue. I mean, we put a whole lot of work into this November issue, guys. I mean, I was, I was just obsessed with it every minute of every day, every sentence, every period, because I know how important Black Friday is for you guys. So um, we worked it out. Okay. Uh, Kim says, would the mail November issue, right? okay, that's another Australian one. Um, again, Kim, um, I'll check, I, I go check all the international addresses, and I will make sure that you have something in your hands if it doesn't get there in time, okay? So if it's not there by the first, uh, you can hit me up, and I will get you some kind of copy of it, okay? Um, anonymous attendee, okay, going back to a question about Black Friday, uh, who does not sell, an anonymous attendee, uh, you do not sell subscriptions, you sell courses. Discounts work great for courses. And remember, it's digital. Your, your goal is to get them to become a buyer, right? So, I mean, even for courses, I've offered 50% off before because it's, it's, it's valuable, but it's like one time a year you're doing this and you're creating more customers. So your next course, you've already got someone that you can sell it to because they bought your course, right? Um, Jennifer says, what is the price point you think we should stay under for deals? What is the price point you're staying under for deals? I don't, I don't know exactly sure what you mean, Jennifer. Uh, what is the price point you think we should stay under for deals? What do you mean by that? I'm not sure. Uh, for Black Friday deals. I, there's no price point. Like I, I, there, there will be people I'll sell. Um, one, I think one of the things we're thinking about selling for Black Friday is like $500. Like it doesn't matter as long as it's a discount on the original thing. Like you just need to, to discount your stuff. Does that make sense? Uh, for that. Okay. All right. Great questions tonight. A lot of energy in the room. Super excited for you guys. Um, I will be sending out a replay, Annie. I see you there, honey. I see you there. Let me put this in here one more time. I will be getting one out for you. Yes, I will be. Uh, I'm going to download it and upload it myself, and I'm going to uh, put it on YouTube. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send out a replay tonight for sure, okay? So there will be a replay for that. One more time, guys, 25% off your first month of Prolific Monthly. Um, even if you're just thinking about it, go ahead and click that link because when I close this, I think it's going to shut down the whole webinar. Um, hope that the Black Friday content that I gave you tonight, look, if you just do those three things, even if you didn't subscribe, like, like honestly, like, you know, when, when Jocelyn and I say we help people identify and use their God-given talents to generate income and change their family's future, that's why we're here, right? We're a business. I'm here to make money. I, Prolific Monthly ain't free. You know how much work I put into this thing? Like, that's why I charge so much for it because it's gold information. Like, if you go do it, you will make more money back than you spend on it every single month. But we really are here and we're doing trainings like this because we want you to succeed. We want you to find the freedom that we have online. We want you to find the freedom that we have to work from home. My, my son asked me earlier, he said, Dad, um, what, what are you doing a webinar on a Sunday night for? And I looked at him and I said, Son, I've been at the beach with you for the last seven days. We went to Myrtle Beach last week and then we took our kids down to Dollywood on Friday. I told you, I said, I've only worked one day <laughs> like in a while. So like I, we, we, we pick when we work, we pick when we want to do webinars. We are in total control of our time, of our schedule, of our life. Right. And that's why, that's why. So I want you, I'm, we want that for you. That's why we do these trainings. That's why we want to help you. That's why we give real value in our trainings. Right. Like I told you what to do on black Friday, go out and make a discount. We talked about discounts. 
get on your waiting list, start that early and be laser focused. If you do those three things, you're going to have a better Black Friday, even if you don't subscribe to Prolific Monthly, right? And that's why we're here. We're here to help you guys, we're here to make that happen. But we really want you to subscribe because our best stuff is in things like Prolific Monthly in the community and all that good stuff too, okay? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Thank you to everybody internationally. I don't know what time it is in Australia, but we got three or four of you guys running around here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for everybody all over the country. We've got people spread out, looks like, in every time zone in the U.S. And uh, I am really excited for Black Friday. I'm really excited. Next month's going to be the best month ever in our businesses. We're going to make a lot of money. We're going to get a lot of members. We're going to change our lives. We're going to flip our lives. We're going to have a better future for our kids. We're going to leave an inheritance to our children's children. And we're going to do it because we're being prolific and we're putting in the work every single day. We love you guys. Till next time, do whatever it takes. Flip your life. Let's go.